Hey there viewers and welcome back to a different video there could also be nothing more satisfying during this world than a hot bowl of soup. Especially on a frigid winter day, there really is not any better thanks to warm up. Whether it is a thick and creamy bisque or a broth-based chicken noodle, soup can always provide some cozy comfort for the winter blues. But what happens if this becomes your meal of choice very often and you finish up choosing to eat soup every day? So, for all the soup lovers out there, we wanted to seek out out just how healthy, or unhealthy, this warming food are often. We talked with a couple of dietitians so as to urge clear on what happens once you consume soup on a daily basis and end up choosing to eat soup a day. One you feel full more quickly. Grilled cheese tomato soup. If you have ever been interested by why people often eat a soup or salad before a main meal, you are not alone. Counting on the sort of soup you're eating, having a bowl or cup before your main course could assist you feel more satisfied. According to Laura Burek MS, Road, CDN, foods with a better water content can fill you up faster. Beginning a meal with a soup or salad, both high water volume, low calorie foods, will fill you up and stop overeating at meals, she says. This could mean that if you're someone who enjoys a pleasant side of soup together with your dinner, you'll end up consuming fewer calories altogether, while still feeling fully satisfied. To your hunger might not always be satisfied. Chicken noodle soup. With that being said, it is vital to notice that sometimes, eating certain sorts of soup as a main course can actually leave you feeling hungrier later. This has everything to try to to with what ingredients you select and the way many nutrients you're consuming within the meal. Lauren Hoover, Road believes that eating soup with a spread of balanced nutrients is that the key to feeling full and satisfied. Some soups aren't very filling if they're missing a main macronutrient, e.g. protein, complex carb, etc., she says. So, as a result, having soup for a meal can cause under-fueling and excessive snacking afterward. Burek also suggests packing your soups filled with nutrient-dense foods so as to avoid feeling hungry and overeating. Stick with lower sodium broth-based soups that contain nutritious ingredients like veggies, herbs, spices, and high-fiber grains, beans, split peas, and lentils, Burek says. 3. You can get more nutrients for fewer calories. Pumpkin Carrot Soup The great news is that if you're intentional about what you set in your soup, you'll make sure that you're getting plenty of nutrients for fewer calories than most other meals. Studies have shown that soup is really a contributing think about losing weight, maintaining weight goals, and lowering the danger of obesity. Toby Amador, M.S., Road, C.D.N., Fand Award-winning nutrition expert, and Wall Street Journal best-selling cookbook author, believes soup has the potential to be an excellent source of nutrition. If it's a broth-based soup that has many vegetables and beans, it is a fabulous thanks to absorb fiber, antioxidant vitamins A and C, and obtain potassium, she says. Burek agrees. Broth-based soups are an excellent bang for your nutritional buck, she says. Once we skip the creamy soups and persist with a broth that contains foods like veggies, beans, or lentils, we fill our tank with plenty of nutrients and fiber, but without tons of calories. And Hoover adds that even the way we prepare soup can help us get our nutrients with fewer calories throughout the week. 
Soups are easy to organize, especially if employing a slow cooker or autoclave, and may be made in large batches, says Hoover. Prepping an enormous, nutrient-rich soup on the weekends may be a good way to make sure you've a healthy, nutrient-rich lunch for the week. Looking for more? Inspect the straightforward thanks to make healthier comfort foods for you may consume tons of saturated fat. Bowl of latest England chowder soup. There's nothing quite sort of a bowl of oh so cheesy broccoli cheddar soup or a creamy chowder. Unfortunately, this sort of soup can pack a punch when it involves calories and saturated fat. Our dietitians all agreed that when choosing your soup, it is vital to understand that any cream-based soup goes to be much higher in fat content. Burek suggests consuming broth-based soups rather than cream-based if you're eager to lower your fat consumption. Soups made with cream rather than broth are often calorie bombs, and that they tend to contain a high amount of saturated fat, not the heart-healthy kind, she says. Amador agrees that the butter and other high-fat ingredients in cream-based soups can cause a rise within the consumption of saturated fat. She also reminds us that this increase in saturated fat consumption has been shown to extend your risk of cardiovascular disease, especially if you're eating it often. So you'll be wanting to form sure you are not choosing to eat soup a day that happens to be cream-based. 5. You may consume tons of sodium. Along with a high saturated fat content, soup can accompany an overload of sodium, as well. The American Heart Association recommends the typical person consume no quite 2,300 mg of sodium per day, but a standard can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup already has 890 mg of sodium per serving. Although soups are often a healthy choice, they have a tendency to contain high levels of sodium, especially once you buy them from a restaurant rather than making them yourself, Burek explains. So as to combat these higher levels, she suggests making homemade batches of easy soups so you'll control the sodium. And if you're craving some restaurant-made soup for the evening, just fail down with many water, especially if you're salt-sensitive, Burek says. Whether you're craving the creaminess of a bisque or chowder, or reaching for the broth-based chicken noodle, our dietitians all agree that creating soup reception rather than ordering it at a restaurant or going for the canned version is usually the higher option for your health. Hoover suggests choosing a lean protein source, a posh carbohydrate, veggies, and a broth base for the right at home healthy soup. And Amador adds that if you're getting to choose the creamier soup base, try using some starchy vegetables like Yukon gold potato or butternut squash. When aiming for the right healthy, home cooked soup, don't forget to garnish your soup with a couple of tablespoons of chopped nuts, pumpkin seeds, salsa, or Greek yogurt, says Amador. Let us know within the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the likes of button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.